Table 3-2, the occipital, palatine, vomer, and hyoid bone. So our occipital bone, we have the foramen magnum, which is the biggest hole in the skull. So not a hard one to find. Then we have the hypoglossal canal, which the hypoglossal canal, well, first I'm gonna teach you these two things right here. These are our occipital condyles. So they are very, condyles always have that rounded kind of edge. So if we go beyond that, there's a hole just behind it that will go through. If we are going through it right, and if we do two, it's gonna make a diagonal cross here. So an X, it's our hypoglossal canal. Um, this one is definitely large and in charge, which is not like normal. But let me show you on the other ones what it really looks more like. So here, there's our hole from behind that you can kind of see right there. And then on the other side, we can see that it's really hiding inside the hole right there. So it's not this guy. There's kind of like some holes here, which aren't frame and we're learning, but it's that guy kind of hiding. Like it's almost hidden until you angle it. So that guy right there. So that's our hypoglossal canal left for our hypoglossal nerve. Now our external occipital protuberance and crest, just by listening to that name, we know we're on the outside, external on the occipital bone and a protuberance or a bump is right there. And then the crest is this line that kind of extends away from that there. Um, let me show you on the real skull because it's very landmarky. And I think you see this a lot in basketball because most of them keep really short hair or shave their heads. And so you can see that protuberance sticking out sometimes in the back of the head. But here's our external occipital protuberance. And then there is the crest coming away from that. And again, our occipital condyles, I showed you, but I'll show you again, right here and right there, the very rounded right on the like outer ring of the frame and magnum and a little bit set superior, not superior, anterior, excuse me. Then our palatine bone, so we talked about that already, but just to come back to it. So here's our palatine bone. And remember we had the palatine process. The palatine bone, each part is made up of these horizontal plates. So we have a horizontal plate and then together well, and really we have two palatine bones, but the horizontal plate is what extends away. It's this flattened portion. Um, let me show you on here. So this entire thing is the palatine bone, but this portion here and this portion here are the horizontal plates. So, and if you remember the palatine bones and the, um, palatine process from the maxilla make up the hard palate. Now the vomer, if you remember back to our ethmoid bone, how we had the perpendicular plate on the top part of the front of the nose in the middle, the vomer makes up the bottom part in the front and then it will extend all the way to the back. So the back middle portion of that nasal cavity is all vomer. So that's just in the midline here next to the medial plates of the pterygoid processes. So there we have vomer there. So if we're looking at the real skull here, here's our vomer. And then in the front, we see that vomer in the front on bottom right there. And then you can see that suture really, you can see how that's made up. So here's our vomer. And then there's that perpendicular plate on the top and front. And then the hyoid bone, which actually is not really attached to the skull at all, but I'm gonna show you on my little friend man here. But here is our hyoid bone that kind of shows up below the mandible, but he's tucked away hiding in that neck cavity in there. And not much you have to know about the hyoid other than it looks like that.